a good spaghetti carbonara is hard to come by. Mm, that sounds so good, but our Giampagano lets you in on the secret to the perfect technique straight from Michelangelo's chef owner, Michael Anadano, in this week's Cleveland Cooks. If you're looking for a fine dining experience in Little Italy, I think Michelangelo's is absolutely your spot. And I've got their executive chef here, Michael Anadona, who's going to teach us how to make something that has kind of vexed me as an Italian home cook and a lot of people for a long time, right? Carbonara? I cannot wait. I am art. My mouth is watering. It's like bacon and eggs on pasta. It right? is. We're going to start, uh, we're going to drop the pasta here. I'm also going to add a little uh, fine sea salt to the water. So you're going to start with the butter. Maybe just use about a half a tablespoon. I sliced and made kind of a small up. dice of uh, pancetta. Okay, and for those people who are unfamiliar, pancetta is Italian bacon, essentially. Yes. I am supposed to use all of this, right? As uh, I, yeah. I ask after I put it all in the pan. <laughs> uh, we want to uh, cook that down and actually brown the bottom of the pan just a little bit. Okay. It, it'll really give it a lot of flavor. Okay. Um, at this point, you want to add a little black pepper. Ooh, and this is the part where it starts to make your kitchen smell really yes. good. Yeah. Kind of emulsify this little bit of grease and fat. Mm -hmm. You're going to use about half of this chicken stock. Okay. And it will kind of smoke up on you a little bit. You're going to use the one egg. Traditionally, you wouldn't put any cream, but I think a little bit of cream just kind of rounds out this dish a little bit. So maybe. I like the choice. For this size portion we're using, we're probably only using about a tablespoon. We're just going to put a little salt and pepper in here. Okay. And season it as you would if you were making scrambled eggs at your house. Then we're going to take some of the Parmigiano Reggiano. Go ahead and just grate in probably about a quarter cup. Okay, now take that whisk here. And this, is a, this is a professional whisk. That's a big one, yeah. <laughs> Blend it up nicely. It's not liquidy at all because no. of all that grated cheese. It's like a cream soup almost kind exactly, of consistency. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Add about all the parsley. We're going to heat this up. We do have some broth in it. Okay. And we don't want this too wet, but we do want a little extra broth. You trying to get the, the noodles coated in what's in here? Yeah, and here's where the most important, important part of the technique of the dish Okay, comes listen out. carefully. We want to temper these eggs without turning them into scrambled eggs. We're going to use the heat of the pasta to bring these eggs up to oh. a temperature probably around 100 degrees or so. Okay. Go ahead and dump all of this right into your bowl. Give it a nice stir with these tongs like this, and you'll see it, it starts coming together. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're ready to plate. Well, at this point, you could just add more cheese. Now, the real question is, are you a twirler or a non-twirler with spaghetti? I'm a twirler, without a spoon. Without a spoon? Yes. Oh, he's fancy. He's <laughs> fancy. All right, all right. All right, Mr. Twirler without a spoon, I'll join the party. So you just gotta get a good grip on it and get it out of the rest of the pasta. I mean, my last name is Pichano, so I should be able to do yeah, this. Yeah, I think right? you got it. Yum! I'll see you later. I'm, I'm, I mean, my plate <laughs> are gonna be here a while. <laughs> my last name's Tucker, and I want all of that dish. You can find the recipe on the 19 Action News Facebook page. If there is a dish you'd like to see Jen make, tweet her at Jen Pichano with the hashtag CLECooks, or you could send an email to Cleveland Cooks at 19actionnews.com.